Local investigators needed someone who was more familiar with these types of offenders. They called upon John Douglas of the FBI Behavioral Sciences Unit to provide a profile. A profile is designed to, uh, to come up with the most probable offender. Its goal is, is to eliminate uh, a lot of false leads. It's, it's a, an attempt is being made as well to maybe refocus the investigation of law enforcement or possibly reinforce the investigation by telling them that you're on the right track here. His profiles are based on 25 years interviewing convicted killers. They taught Douglas how to think like they do. He's learned that serial killers are acting out their fantasies of control and conquest. As Douglas slowly wins their trust, he takes them back to the scene of their crime. You finally get them talking, they start giving you that thousand yard stare. They're back, they're back 10 years ago, 20 years ago when they were perpetrating uh, the crime and they kind of lock into that thousand yard stare and their memory is, is just so pr precise. And the fantasy is what keeps them going uh, over and over and, and enables them to survive when they're incarcerated. So I got to tap into that. It takes time, but once I'm in there, I get tremendous information. Douglas and others cataloged and categorized their findings, creating a statistical database from which profilers can draw inferences about criminals based on patterns of behavior. I'm very much like a, a, a doctor in medicine where I'm trying to come up with a diagnosis and I'm going to rely on the thousands of cases that I've worked. I'm going to rely on the hundreds and hundreds of, of, of interviews of offenders who committed similar types of crimes. You just want to see if you can come up with an analysis based upon preliminary police reports, crime scene photographs, a profile of the, uh, the victim, autopsy protocol, reviewing that, re review the autopsy photographs, do a an analysis of the overall crime, the risk level that the subject took, uh, the victim risk level, analysis of the, the area, the, the, maybe the crime scene, maybe you have multiple crime scenes. You have to walk in the shoes of both the subject and walk in the shoes of that victim to truly understand really what took place during that assault. I'm going to be asking myself the question, why? Why this, this victim? Douglas needed to probe further. He had to meticulously recreate each murder from the known evidence. Reviewing all six attacks, the profiler looked for behavioral characteristics that could be ascribed to just one offender. When someone asks for a profile, what they're looking for are characteristics, which includes um, gender, uh, includes age, race, sometimes uh, body typing. Uh, educational level, occupational uh, type. To determine these characteristics, the profiler attempts to think like the killer. He tries to uncover his motivations. Examining every aspect of a crime reveals patterns of behavior. Some people look at, at this, that this is some type of voodoo or witchcraft. I mean, how are you able to determine, for example, age of the offender? And uh, Actually, it's, it's pretty easy once you do enough of these cases. Douglas stressed that it was up to the local team to find or eliminate suspects based on his profile. This is a, a good tool, but really, it's you. You're the people up there. You Police, you're going to solve the case. I'm not going to solve the case. To me, this is the easy part. I'm just going to try to help you maybe refocus the case, give you an idea, paint a portrait of the offender, but really, you're the one that's going to knock on the doors and, and wear out the, the leather soles and, and come up with the suspect. 